right in this video we are going to be more or less replacing a uh, post on a barn that's behind me here but first I've got to cut me a circle to cap a existing four and a half inch post And all I had with me was some angle iron, so. And the angle iron wasn't big enough, so I'm having to weld some pieces together to uh, make it big enough. Some may argue that it'd uh, be a little quicker just to go get some plate. I would agree, other than we wouldn't learn what plate did whenever we welded it together. In other words, here on the YouTube channel, I try to do things that uh, may not make sense, you know, in a in a production mindset or like a like a business you know you're doing it for like a like a business and you're trying to save money and time and all this stuff and uh but i do it to to learn and share my experience with with you the viewers I don't know if you can see it on camera, but uh, the plate obviously uh, bent a little bit because it drew whenever we welded it together. And on this project, it's not a big deal because we're just capping a piece of pipe and and whatnot, and we can put it on there with the with the way it bowed up top, the way water sheds off of it easier, but uh, in other words, it's a prime opportunity to um, learn or try to weld plate together and not get a bow in it or, or whatever you're practicing, you know. Alright, now I'm going to clean this up, go cap our post, and then uh, carry on. Before I do, let me let me show you all the scope of the project. So this here is the corporate. As you can see here, this post is rotted off. So what I'm going to do is come in here and cap this four and a half, and then run a piece of two and seven eighths up to there. And that way, it's essentially got a, another post supporting it. The other day, I come in here and put a column on top of this concrete because this post is rotting out. All right, so I wanted to touch on this for a minute, this old rotted pipe. Some of you might be wondering, oh my gosh, that's terrible, which I agree, it is terrible. But keep in mind that uh, this was used pipe whenever they put it in, and there's different levels of used pipe that I've talked about uh, in the past when 
you know, looking for pipe for, for pipe fence, but even old barns like this, you know. Um, there's different levels, and I believe this pipe, I don't know, I've actually been trying to figure it out because there's a lot of this stuff here on the family farm, and uh, it appears that this stuff was full of, I don't know what, full base, salt, you know, salt water. Uh, I mean, I don't know, I literally don't know, but I mean, by looking at this post here, you can see that it was just like rotting from the inside out. So with that being said, I was told that this barn has been here for roughly 40 years, give or take. So, you know, that's something to consider. You know, I personally believe that there's a time and a place for used pipe and there's a time and a place for new pipe. So just wanted to mention that because this is crazy that these posts have literally just essentially disintegrated over the years, you know what I mean? So, but I wanted to give some context to it. For those of you who may not know, may not know about used pipe, may not know about oil filled pipe and why it rots away like that and this, that, and the other. So just wanted to share a bit of, of why this looks so horrific, I guess. So in short, it has something to do with what this old used pipe was used for. And like I said, keep in mind there's different levels of used pipe. So when buying used pipe, just inspect it, you know, look through it, make sure it's not full of concrete or oil base or whatever's in this in this pipe this one was a little bit more of a priority on account of it's right here on the corner of this barn and if we would have lost it this thing would have probably wouldn't have come all the way down but it it would have been bouncing and caught the wind a lot easier and tore up the barn so we're trying to do things to keep from tearing up the barn Decided to use a little old 7018 on this one. Normally I would just use 6010 or something on the cap like this, but not today, boys. That's a true farm welding status right here. Chip and hammer, ground, all in one. Let's take a look at it before, uh, before I sand off these sharp edges.
All right, now we've got her sanded down, it looks like so. Now we're ready to cut us a piece of 10 7 8 pipe. So the first thing we're going to do is get us a measurement just as accurate as we can here. 43 and a half. We'll make it, uh, I don't know, it's pretty close. 43 and a half, the longest measurement. 43 and a half. And let's see, it's going to be going pretty well in the center. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a saddle on this thing. And while I'm cutting it, I'm going to put a slight angle on it because that, you know, that loafing shed's got an angle on it. So I'm going to cut on this side of one throat and then on the other side of the other throat. Good old used pipe, boys. That's why they say if you ain't no good at running a torch, you better get good at running a grinder. I'm kind of just making a joke. It's good to be good at both, but see how this one's a little bit deeper than this one? That'll be our angle going this way. So now what I'll do is I'll measure from my longest point here, whatever our measurement was. I done forgot. Do y'all remember? <laughs> I better go check one more time. One more time. 43 and a half. 43 and a half. From my longest point. Forty-three and a half. Noticed I had my torch turned up, and uh, that helps cut through this used stuff sometimes. Like actually turning your knobs up on your torch a little bit to where it just sounds louder, and then kind of uh, tilting your torch at an angle, kind of pointing towards where you're cutting. That kind of helps sometimes blow all that stuff away and kind of keep your torch. A little further away than you normally would on like a clean piece of metal 
hope that helps. All right, let's see. I could really stand to have me a little old ladder, huh? Like a glove. Better get me a little old torpedo. Torpedo level. Check our existing posts. Step back, give her the old eyeball, and throw a tack on her. I will be using 7018 right here also, 332, 7018. In fact, everything that you'll see in this video is welded with 332, 7018. Boy, I'm gonna have to get a taller ladder or get acrobatic. I'm feeling acrobatic. Tell you what, better latch this. I'm about to climb on it, I think. Maybe not, maybe I can reach it, look here. Sometimes I just feel the urge to be up close and personal with my project, you know what I mean? That is my favorite noise. That rod stub hitting a rod bucket. Some of you might already know that. Got nervous. Got nervous. Thought there was fire below me.
Is is nobody gonna talk about this cool gate? That's cool. That right there is just cool as a cucumber. Some might say a nostalgic. Repurposed. Well, them fellas might be hungry. Might just need a little feed. Or they may just never seen old Lincoln before, or heard old Lincoln. This one here is going to be a stretch. I need to find my stretch arms for this one. some of my chest hairs. I'm gonna have to drink some more coffee so I can grow back those chest hairs. Come on. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Let me see here. Let me get a little, ooh. Let me get a little. Let me try to get some ups on this bad boy. Stuff is old enough as it is. I don't need it holding water and rusting out. Got to get as much life out of this thing as possible. Thank you all for coming along with me today. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, you can text them to 405-643-7176. Or you can simply put a comment in the comment section down below. Have an awesome weekend. And remember, learn something every day.